hello everyone you're welcome back once again to my channel and today i want to look at how you can actually control and in a greenhouse system of snail farming because over time i on a daily basis i keep getting a lot of calls from um, snail farmers who are into the greenhouse system of snail farming and they keep on saying one thing they keep on complaining one thing which is ant invasion and how they can actually be able to control ants in the greenhouse system of snail farm okay i actually made a video not long ago where i talked about the greenhouse system of snail farming and i was telling you that the greenhouse system of snail farming does not in any way gives you 100 percent success in snail farming business and it's like that because you have been lied to so many persons you do listen to are not telling you the truth and i'll keep telling you that most of these persons are not being sincere to you and my own is that i will always tell you i will tell you the reality i will tell you the truth i will give you everything you need to know then it's left for you to take your decision yourself so what am i trying to say what i'm saying is this so many persons who actually condemn the trend system of snail farming makes it look as if when you start greenhouse you will never experience any problem again they make it look as if once you start a greenhouse farming system automatically all your problems are solved and you have 100 percent success in it but i'm telling you that is not like that practically when you are practicalizing it you understand that the theoretical top they are talking is far different from what is obtainable when you are in the field so that you are into the greenhouse system is not automatically giving you 100 percent success in it and one of the problems they keep on encountering is the issue of ants 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 how do i control ants in my greenhouse and i will always tell you that most of the person that have been calling me the same thing is what i keep telling them you cannot 100 percent control ants in the greenhouse it's not possible put me anywhere those of you you can decide to disagree with this video you can disagree with what i'm saying but i must be sincere and i must tell you the truth it's not possible for you to eradicate ants 100 percent in a greenhouse system of snail farming what do i mean by this now you can imagine in a natural environment what you just did is you put block around and then put net you are still making use of that natural environment and there is no way, as long as that is the natural place, as long as it is the ground, natural ground, ant must come, ant must be there. I keep saying it, some persons will disagree with me, some persons will say I'm lying, I'm not saying the truth. Some will tell you, eh, once you start, go and spread this, go and spread that, go and how long will you keep on spreading it in the natural ground and it, it will return it? That, that is the question you ask them. And the thing is that most of them that makes it looks as if the greenhouse is 100 percent perfect the greenhouse has no problem it has no challenges by the time you start complaining of this ant invention in your greenhouse you find out that they are nowhere to be reached you hardly reach them and they can hardly give you a lasting solution to what you are seeking for so most of them we even advise you means this means that and spread it it will take care of that but the question you should be asking them is how long will you be spreading those things and it, it will take care of those things now take for instance you know incenticide now when you use an incenticide and spread aside in an open place does it really kill um mosquito or whatever you are spreading it even if it kills it for that time it's just within some minutes because it's an open place the mosquito will still come back to that place again because within some period of time the air must have dissolved whatever smell or whatever thing that you have spread here so that is how it is in the greenhouse system that is the natural natural ground no matter whatever you are being recommended to spray on it which i'm not against is 100 percent perfect but what i'm saying is that you cannot 100 percent eradicate ants in a greenhouse because it's a natural place the ants are on the ground even if they are coming out and you start spreading those things start uh, putting every measure they will go back to the ground and within some period of time it could be just within some days or some weeks you will see them come out from the ground again so that is why i'm telling you that in a greenhouse as you are going into greenhouse they have prepared your mind to believe that it's just 
the perfect housing system and that once you start it you will not have any issue i'm now preparing your mind to also know that you will be encountering the issue of ant invasion and controlling of ant in your greenhouse so the only thing i can recommend as someone who has i think small maybe let me just say who has a little experience in the snail farming business is that probably you just put every measure that you need to put in place what are those measures that i mean they talked about feeding yes you put food for them even in the greenhouse and it's as if by the time all those things are being planted on the greenhouse there is no food that will come into the greenhouse again they will not start feeding on those plants that is absolutely not the truth of course to me those things we are even plant planting in the greenhouse most of them doesn't serve as food it's just serving as shelter that is just what is serving most of them but that is another talk for another day but what i can recommend is that you put some necessary measure which is what whenever you put food there whatever you know or you think can attract ants into that place you try as much as possible to remove them from that particular greenhouse it could be that when you put them um, for instance you are feeding them with watermelon and this you can leave because this greenhouse you would likely leave it there for one week you put banana or plantain pigs you leave it there for one week those things will definitely keep attracting ants into the greenhouse so in order to minimize the rate at which you will even be seeing ants in your greenhouse the only thing is to put all these measures on ground try as much as possible you give them formulated food please always remove it once they did not finish it remove it dispose it wash those things and then return it back whenever you want to feed them but leaving it there will definitely keep on attracting ants and you keep on complaining then the second recommendation i will actually give is that you look at the pen and try as much as possible to know if probably there is any opening where the ants can penetrate and come in but as long as i'm no and i'm sure i can tell you categorically that most of those ants that invade the greenhouse doesn't necessarily come from outside most of them are what is within the range of that greenhouse that you have constructed because it's a natural place and you cannot eradicate and 100 percent in the natural ground just give them some time they don't yeah they are inside the ground already and by the time you think that you are done with them you have uh, finished them go out you see them coming out from the ground again so these are the few recommendations i can give you try and close every opening that can add uh, um, that can bring um, ants into the greenhouse and then whenever you are feeding them anything that can attract the ant inside please try as much as possible to remove them why because if there is nothing they are coming out to feed on at uh, the rate at which they will even attack the greenhouse will be what minimal compared to when they are seeing things they can eat they are seeing things they can feed on they will keep on coming out and as they are coming out they are likely to attack this nest but one thing i must tell you is that the greenhouse will never give you 100 percent success there are other factors that you must put in place and also there is no way you can 100% eradicate ant in the greenhouse. So whosoever that you are listening to or that is telling you that whenever you go into the snare farming business and you are making use of the greenhouse, then you have no problem that all your problems are being taken care of. Please, the person is not being sincere to you and the person is not telling you the truth. So I keep telling you as my audience, most of you will disagree with me. Most of you will also agree with me, but... I must tell you, based on the practical experience I have so far, these are the things I have experienced in the field. And I must tell you that it is not possible to 100% eradicate that. But you can minimize the rate at which they can actually invade your snares. So, thank you once again for watching this video. These are just the few things I wanted to share with us. See you in my next video. Bye for now.